morning all of you my name is divya i am studying in grade 3c today my friends will uh, give a presentation on our group project first of all meet with my friends anvita nayesha ashutosh dash and i for group project we choose a story of foolish friendship then we do many characters related to it we are going to get introduction about them king the king's name was bhanu pratap singh he was the king of telangana state guard bhanu the guard's name was bahadur singh he was a brave soldier and worked in the king's palace guard the second guard's name was dhanan singh he too worked in the king's palace the king named the monkey Not hard. He was very lovable, lovable and loyal creature. King also loved him very much. The king, the doctor named was Viren Saha. He saw the king Bhanu Pratap Singh. His name was Aarti. She took care of four needs of King Bhanu Pratap Singh and comforted him. The charioter named was Arjun. He was a very brave man and appointed as a main charioter of the king. In this project, we make all important characters and some basic information about them with the story map and anyone on the story team. Thank you. Good morning to all of you, my friends. Today, today we are going giving a presentation on our group project. First of all, meet with my friends. G. Divyesh. Eva, Kaliti, and Hetri. We choose a story named Smell and Sound. Here we created a story map to make you understand our story with the help of few pictures. Story map plays a story map plays a vital role when someone wants to read that book or story. Friends, with these pictures, you can get an idea about this story. You can. In that picture, two persons are talking with their gestures, facial expressions, and surroundings. You can imagine the story part. One evening, a poor man was going, and he suddenly stopped when he smelled the lovely fragrance of sweets. He, but he had no money. He was about to move, and he heard a voice. Hey, pay the money first. The poor man's face lit up, but he went to the shop and jingled a few coins from his pocket and said, "I have paid it." The shopkeeper realized his mistake, and the poor man went with pride. Moral of the story is tit for tat. Thank you. Good morning to all of you. Myself, Vidhis, I am studying in Great Pisi. To today, we are giving a presentation on our group project. First of all, meet with my friends: Kathan, Manasvi, Sarjit, Priyamada, Vian, Kanu, and Kanushi. He has chosen a story, and its title is Elephant's Revenge. We wrote this story in book talk and book review as our project one. Book talk is a primary. Book talk is a primary introduction, and it has a brief story about lines and about specific characters and their roles. Otherwise, they would take revenge.
H2. Book reviews could be positive or negative or both, but mostly book reviews are positive and improve based is also an it is also an important part of a book or a story. Every reader can 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 give their reading reviews about their story. Reading. This book, Fifty One Stories from Panchatantra, is excellent for kids. It is written and edited by Shyam Dua and designed and illustrated by Creative Concepts New Delhi. Panchatantra is an ancient woman Indian collection of animal fables which gives us knowledge about their feelings. So my dear friends, this information about book talk and book review would be very useful to you. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Myself Yashvi. I am studying in grade 3 C. Today my friends will give a presentation of on our book project. Uh, uh, first uh, meet my friends. You, Sosa, Varanam and Vedan. In this project we are telling you about importance of a face of a book. Cow face is an important part of a book so it should be very beautiful and well designed. We made beautiful picture related to our story. The says brought a red stick on the chapter. It is colorful and would attract a reader all. Here we got few now pronouns and position words which we find an out story. Once upon a sage and his wife lived nearby a river but had no children. <coughs> They prayed to God to bless them with a kid. One day, sage prayed in river. Suddenly, a mouse, a tiny mouse, fell, uh, slipped out of the eagle's mouth and fell into the sage's hand. He showed it to his wife and thought to transform the mouse into a girl and he did it. Year passed and when she grew up, now they are thinking for her marriage. But Sage asked, but Sage asked the, the son God to marry his daughter. But daughter did not. Now they now he went to the clouds, the wind and mountain, but she was not ready for her marriage. Then the mountain that is said to a mouse to man the girl because she wanted a son of woman. His mother took a he mouse to home and she was ready to marry the girl. So the sage transformed his daughter back to the mouse. The sage and his wife blessed their daughter and they both lived happily married life. Hi.